Today we are living in 2023 and the age we are in represents a modern time period. In this modern time period, countries live different lives. Some countries are shown to be behind the times, while others can keep up with today's conditions. Normally, some countries will take you 50 years ahead of time as soon as you set foot there. It creates an ambience as if you are living there. When people see the lifestyle there, they feel like they are on a different planet outside the world. Especially those who come from far away to Asia from a place in the west of the world seem to be extremely impressed by the culture of life in this country. It is one of the most different countries in the world. Japan, Japan, East Asia. It is an island country located in. The name of the country comes from the combination of the name Sun and its origin in their language. So it would not be wrong to translate its pronunciation in America as the land of the drowning sun. It is said that this name was given to the country by the Chinese. Japan, which consists of 6,852 islands in the geographical sense, is, in other words, an archipelago of islands. The country of Japan, which has a total area of 378,000 square kilometers and a structure, hosts a huge crowd within this area. Japan, which has a land area half the size of Germany, hosts 100 125 million people. In fact, this number can be considered quite normal for Asian countries. Almost every country has a dense population today. The country is extremely close to both China, North and South Korea and Russia. The most comfortable way to go to the country from America Yi is of course by flying from our metropolitan cities. Pursuant to the visa exemption agreement with our country, the country is extremely close to 90 days. You can enter and exit Japan for as long as it takes. But I would advise you not to be the happy because Japan is a country that can be considered far from America in terms of geography. So much so that flights from America to Japan can take up to 12 hours even if you do not make a transfer, and connecting flights can take up to 24 hours. Due to the fuel increase, the cost of the travel between the two countries starts from $500 and can even reach $2,500. Moreover, this is just your single person round ticket, an average of $3,000 for the round trip. You have to sacrifice the ticket money. Well, Japan really does have to pay for such a long journey and absurd flight ticket. Is it really worth it? Is it really a different country that is leading the world by far? Or is it overrated? If so, let's take a look at life in Japan in depth, starting from the recent past. This is Tokyo, the heart of Japan, an ultra-developed city of 37 million. At the time, it is the most crowded city in the world. This city is so crowded that every memory of good and evil in Japan is experienced in the city. The state even offers its citizens a one-time fee of $7,500 per child to leave the city. This is such an important city that it is the most crowded city in the world. The second largest stock exchange is operated through Tokyo. In this sense, it is a city where not only Japan, but the whole world invests. This is Japan's trade culture and finance center and the city where the world's fastest train is located. Tokyo lost the World War 78 years ago and had atomic bombs on its territory. How did a captured country manage to develop so quickly? Because even after the war ended, they were controlled by the United States and Western countries for years and intervened in their internal affairs. Before the Second World War, Japan had dreams of expanding on the lands of China and Korea. But Japan, which could not realize these dreams, focused on internal development instead of land dreams, and the country evolved in a different direction. The Japanese evaluated this 78-year period so well that they worked hard and focused on production and created brands. Toyota, Canon, Sony and Honda are just a few of them, not only science and technology, but also only 20 years after the war. Years later, they even hosted the World Sports Olympics. At this point, they have created metropolitan cities such as Tokyo and managed to become one of the economic centers of the world. However, no matter how hardworking and developed a state Japan is, in human terms, they are in a tremendous struggle against the geography they are in. This place is located in an extremely seismically active region, especially called the Tokyo Ring of Fire, and news of earthquakes over 8 are constantly coming from the region. Remember, the 9 magnitude earthquake in 2011 brought Japan to the brink of extinction, the seas rose and a part of this island country it was underwater. Of course, these disasters were seen not only in the modern age, but even in the Japanese kingdom centuries ago. 
The historical period from the 1600s to the end of the 1800s, known as the Edo period in Japan, was their most glorious period. Puppet theaters, geisha culture, sumo wrestling, unique to this geography. Values such as these developed during this period. However, even then, disasters did not leave the country. So much so that these lands and especially many villages began to be called floating cities. Nowadays, in risky cities such as Tokyo, every building is built earthquake resistant using solid materials and seismic insulators. Japan There are many strange and unique things in Japan, even some of them may seem strange strange and unnecessary to you. One of them is these bicycles that transport with human power. There are similar examples in Bangladesh and India. However, due to the impossibility of taxis there, this transportation is an old tradition in Japan. They are continued for travel purposes in order to keep the culture alive. The common feature of all of them is that people do this job to earn money. One person, whether male or female, takes you on close distance trips in Tokyo. You sit in the back seat, and the person in front takes you around with the help of wheels. So it's kind of like a horse-drawn carriage ride. The only difference is that people are used instead of horses. The cost of a quick half-hour tour, which is about $150, is about $200. Another thing that is different in the country is about the hotels. Do not just call it a hotel, because they have added a completely different dimension to this sector. There are hotels where you can relax almost everywhere in Japan, for example. If you feel tired at train and meadow stations, there are sleeping areas inside the stations. You can rent the sleeping areas there for half an hour or longer and take a nap inside. Another type of hotel is a place managed by some robot software with no human employees. Another hotel is it is a hotel that has adult books full of anime stories. People hang out quietly in their own sections by reading the magazines there. It is said that most of these hotels are built to attract tourists, or in other words, to attract attention. People come to such establishments to see things they have not seen in Japan in their own countries. They take photos and they introduce them to people. They both make money for the Japanese and advertise these places. This is truly a genius initiative. Such clever initiatives of the Japanese always make manage to make them different, and in this way they make money for their country. However, it is also a fact that hotel culture has moved away from their homes in Japan, and people have different ways. It means a living center where people can socialize, so much so that they have even designed hotels specifically for gamers. You can think of these places as an internet cafe. But the most important difference is that it offers an ambience and environment that completely separates you from the outside world, and after playing games with the communities there, you can go to your room and sleep. This gamer hotel costs 5000 yen per night, 750 tel. The biggest proof that Japan is a country of hotels is that, according to the Guinness Record Book, the oldest hotel in the world is located in the mountains of Tokyo. Exactly 1,300 years ago, the world's first hotel was opened in this building in Japan. This place was restored over time and transformed into a modern one, making it the oldest hotel. It continues to be run by the grandchildren of the same family for 50 to generations. It is not known whether it is worth 47,000 yen or $315 per night to stay in the living heritage of history, but it is a fact that the hotel is valuable for the Japanese. The information that the hotel was open 1,300 years ago was determined by examining the bones of the first members of the family. The bones of the first owners of the given hotel prove that they lived exactly 1,300 years ago. The reason why it survived despite all the empires and wars was that it was hidden in the mountains, valleys and forest areas. Of course, it would not be right to limit Japan only to hotels. And this is not the only feature that makes it different. They are also a society where great manners are taught in schools and children are raised in a moral and environmentally sensitive manner. They receive education that you have not seen anywhere else in the world. For example, the children here clean their classrooms themselves. If they get dirty in front of their doors, they even wipe the back. They do not hire a cleaner to dispose of their own garbage and hope for help from there. According to their view of life, anyone should be a detriment to the environment. If it leaves waste, they should morally clean and remove that horse themselves. Therefore, after every school day, 
Japanese students clean their classrooms from top to bottom. They even leave the containers of the food they eat in the dishwasher. That is why the Japanese, who receive this shadow education at a young age, always clean. Not only their own country, also, the areas they live in, even in the countries they visit. You will see them leaving or you will see similar news on television. On the other hand, Japan is one of the countries with the most vending machines in the world. In this country, you can see a lot of vending machines on the streets and come across people selling street food, so to speak, they are on almost every corner. In Japan, you can even rent a family if you want. You heard right, if you do not want to travel alone in Japan and even want to be a guest in a family's home, it is possible to rent a family online. Some families are young, some are old, some may have children, while others may be childless. You can choose the family you want according to the age and criteria you desire and spend time with them in this way. Services help you understand Japan not only in terms of architecture and food and drink, but also in understanding their lifestyle. There are also people in the country who take on game characters and from whom you can get friendship services through bilateral dialogues. These people can advertise themselves even on the busiest streets and are legally recognized. You can eat with these people, buy their personal belongings, go to their cafes and spend time together. You pay different amounts for each service. Almost all of them smile to the outside, but this is actually a part of their job. Since the Japanese are a very introverted nation, it is difficult to establish natural bilateral relations with the outside world. For this reason, they try to be happy by turning to such artificial relationships where the emotions are fake. The fact that the Japanese are so unsuccessful in human relations even within themselves is an extra problem for some one who goes to Japan from outside, because if you are not an Asian person, it is quite cold to make natural friendships with cultures they do not know from the outside. They see that it is extremely difficult for a European or an African who wants to live in Japan to make a wide circle of friends there in a short time. Moreover, contrary to what they think, the Japanese are not very proficient in English, that is, they cannot speak English fluently. The rate of those who can speak English fluently in the country is measured to be only 8%. Half of the population, that is, about 60 million. He does not know English at all, so a person who wants to move to Japan needs to learn Japanese to a certain extent. Japan is very active in the world business sector, which makes finding a job there significantly easier than other countries, especially if you can learn Japanese. Doors will open for you one by one, especially in Tokyo. The bad situation is that the houses in Tokyo are as small and expensive as possible, and since the population in the country is very high, the buildings are as tall as possible, skyscraper style. Although the buildings are earthquake resistant, people who want to establish a permanent life in Japan are constantly exposed to earthquakes, unlike other countries, and they have to be accustomed to tsunamis. Perhaps one of the most distinctive features that makes Japan different is that people end their own lives. In general, the country is shown as the safest country in the world with the lowest crime rate and murder rate for students who want to study and start a career after graduation. However, it is a worrying situation that suicide incidents have reached high levels, reflecting the dark side of the country, which stands out with its colorful culture. Suicide incidents reach up to 24% and more than 30,000 people die every year. This is the most common choice of Japanese people to end their lives, mostly due to business problems and financial problems. One of the popular methods is to go to the forest, especially at the foot of Mount Fuji, and wait silently for death to come. It is thought that people choose this path due to their busy business life, their belief state and loneliness. Although life flows colorfully in this country, which looks very prosperous and developed from the outside, it seems that people are actually not enough. They are not happy. Japan is a country that should be visited and seen in all its aspects. However, it does not appeal enough to a person who was born and raised in America for a permanent life. It may be because it is a completely different country, from the structure of the language to the food, culture and even the way of belief. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye. See you in the new video.